everybody. So today's video is called What's Holding You Back? Um, so certain decisions um, that are being made, so they either classify as a risk or, you know, you thought it through completely. And there are some things that I will take a risk on, but most of my decisions, especially when they are going to affect me greatly, I think it through logically and I overthink. It'll be to the point like, for example, if I'm trying to figure out if I have time to do something before work, I will sit there and calculate, you know, the distance between point A and point B. You know, I'll sit there and be like, okay, so, you know, if a dog jumps out in front of my car um, and causes me to hit my brakes, I'm going to lose 0.67 seconds, you know what I'm saying? And that's going to be slamming my brakes. And then I have to recover, you know, from the speed that I was going after I lost that 0.67 seconds, which is going to be, you know, another 0.29 seconds, you know what I'm saying, which is a result of over one full second that I'm going to lose. That's how I think. That's how I think when it comes to stuff like that. I know it's weird, but that's, that's just me. So... There was um, something last week, last week. I don't know if it's last week. It might've been a week before last, I don't know. But um, it was a decision that I had to make, but it was clearly, clearly a good decision. I mean, like everything fell into place. Um, it was like little to no effort from me. And everything was like, bam, 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 like falling into place. And I was still like, hmm, is this a good decision or no? Nah? And once I realized, you know what I'm saying, that I was still having reservations about it, I was like, okay, something's going on up here. We, it's, This is a thing between me and me. So I need to figure this out. So, um... I made like a pros and cons list. I uh, prayed about it. Um, I seek uh, good counsel or seek, seek. I spoke with people that, you know, I, I really value um, about it to help me make this decision. So everybody was pretty much saying the same thing. But one person asked me, uh, so what is holding you back? And in my head, when they asked me that, the first thing I thought of, you know, was that Shawn Mendes song. So in my head, I was like, do, 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 there's nothing holding me back. And in my head, you know what I'm saying? It was sounding good. But when I actually thought about it, I was like, okay, what, what are my reservations? What is holding me back? So um, it made me question myself. It made me look at myself. I you know, grabbed my little uh, mental pen and paper and I became my own sight. You know what I'm saying? I was really trying to figure this out because this was not the first time that it had happened. And, you know, I'm having full-blown conversations with myself, you know, in my head, not, not, not out loud. I didn't want nobody to take me away. But um, the thing that I realized was most of the time when I make those major decisions and it's like one of those decisions that's like definitely a good thing to do. Most of the time fear was holding me back. It was either the fear of change or the fear of starting over or the fear of failing. Um, I allowed fear to cloud a lot of my decisions and I've, I've suffered for that, you know? A lot of things that I could have had or at this point that I could have been, um, I allowed fear to cloud that. And thinking about things is a good thing. Considering all angles is a good thing. But when you let all angles overtake you and your decision making, that's when it becomes a problem. So I had to realize that, A, you know, as far as all the fear, the fear of change, the fear of failing, the fear of um, um, starting over, you know, whatever the situation may be. Um, I had to realize that, A, I have not always been in this position. I have not always been in this situation. I've not always had it this good. 
or you know this bad you know what i'm saying if depending on how you look at it but i see it as good you know where i am right now so i've not always been in this position and i survived once so that means i can survive again you haven't always had that job you haven't always had that person by your side and you survived prior to them so you're going to survive after them so or after it, whatever the situation is. But uh, that's what I had to realize that most of my decisions were being determined by my level of fear about about whatever the change was. So I'm kind of glad I came to that conclusion, you know, cause it made me look at decisions a whole lot differently. It made me look at a lot of things a whole lot differently and I refuse to let fear determine what's best for me because fear doesn't know, you know, I know what's best for me and the most high knows what's best for me and people that care about me and love me, they know what's best for me. Um, sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, I refuse to let fear cloud my decisions anymore. So that's all I got for y'all. Um, don't let fear be the decision maker in your life. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.